Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Last time, Snake defeated Metal Gear. We completed the game. Snake saved the day from Metal Gear, Boxhound, Liquid Snake. Now we're actually going to start up a brand new game. Why are we starting up a brand new game? Well, there is another ending for this game that we need to see. This other ending, up to the very end, is pretty much exactly the same. So I'll be skipping all of the cutscenes. It's not really going to make any sort of difference early on. But there is something a little extra, as you can see. I just loaded up my game, which gives us what Meryl gave us at the very end, which was a bandana. We'll be able to see what that does. And I decided I'm going to do it on hard for this difficulty. That's what I decided on. Type 2 radar right now. I can choose not game over if discovered or game over if discovered. Honestly, no. Uh, <laughs> the game will not end if discovered. I, I do not want to want to risk that. So I'm just I'm just going to do that. That's just what I'm going to do here. Okay, most of this I can just skip, which should make it pretty quick. But there is quite a bit here to skip past. And unfortunately, you can't just like hit start to, to, uh, to skip a lot of it and then it's, it's just done. There we go. Amazing. And now we are here. And now we must wait for the elevator to come down. But first, let's just go down here. Get our... I guess really the only thing to get down here is is the ration. Nothing really else of importance. I, there was that other item. That sensor over there. But honestly, I didn't, I didn't even use it the first time. So I'm just not, not even going to mess with it. Okay, so the interesting thing about this, when I did a quick test run of this, there was no M9 in that locker over there. So I can so you cannot get get a gun this early on. You have to wait. And that's like how the original was. No snake. There we go. Is there somebody there? <laughs> yeah, there is. And 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 your friend is dead. There we go. What a beautiful sound, yes. Beautiful sound of death. So now, when the guy in the elevator comes down, he's gonna be shocked. He's gonna be like, what the heck? Two dead guys, like, right in front? Oh wait, you know what? I can just move their, their bodies. There we go. I was about to say, snake. Crap. There you go. Let's see what he what he what he. Oh look, he didn't even see his his dead friend's body. That's how. I tell you, his his vision is just so terrible. There we go. That's right. Bye, buddy. Uh, that's incredible. Skip past all this, it makes it easy to just, uh, actually get it. Well, actually, no, because we had to sit here for probably like a minute or two. Oh no, I skipped the, the best cut, the, the best cutscene ever. A hind D. Colonel, what's the Russian gunship doing here? There are only... I know, there's only 18 hours left. Snake has to save the day again. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. We know, May, May Ling, thank you so much. Snake did I watch the future game show? No, I did not. I have no, I had no idea what, what the future game show is. is it, does it show what future games are coming? <laughs> I would imagine, I would imagine. Okay. So, we do have this bandana, but we can't really do anything with it yet, so I'm not going to actually show it off just yet. Not just yet. Okay, so now we can actually go pick up a weapon. Let's go do that. Okay, a weapon right here. This is so calm. Very, very nice. And now it's about to get fun. 
Gotta wait for this guy to, to move out of the way. There we go. Crap. Is there somebody there? Yes, there is. Don't be checking the, the truck, sir. There you go. Just go go away like a like a good good little boy that you are. There we go. Okay, so now I just want to get over here. When they're dead, they don't respond and they automatically send reinforcements, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the uh I believe it's this guy right over here. He he's he's the one who's supposed to be letting the security know. So if you kill him, or it could be the guy up there. I'm pretty sure it is a sleeping guy though. He lets lets the uh, main unit know of of the status, and if you kill him, then that guy won't be there anymore. So anyway, you may be wondering what the bandana does. So let's first equip our weapon. Bandana. Solid Snake's bandana. Infinity symbol is sewed in. Well, guess what this does? Watch our ammo count. I'm gonna shoot these lights off. Gives us infinite ammo. Did you hear something? Yes. Gives us infinite ammo. So that is great. There we go. So we can just waste our bullets as much as we have won here. Gotta get it. I like how they can they can hear something. <laughs> that guy's like, that guy ran up here to check out what this noise was. It's like, dude, you're supposed to be what is it? Next generation special for uh, forces here. You're supposed to be like the best units there uh, there are here, the best guys. And you you just suck. You just absolutely suck. There we go. Light is blasted out. Hmm. So yeah, that is the guy I don't want to kill. One of one of those two. That's right, I can also get rid of this. Let's hope he doesn't hear it. Good, he did not not hear it, even though it wasn't too far in front of him. Now this will only work with guns. And any well anything that is on the, on the right side. It's not going to work for like rations and, and that sort of thing. But all right, there's that fool. All right, so we know what we have to do. We have to head up and go through the ventilation shaft. What's that? Hang on, hang on. Someone was there. There we go. So I guess now, if we hear the guy on the intercom saying, What's going on? Respond. Then it was, then it was that guy. Oh gosh, is that guy gonna... Oh, is he gonna see the dead body? Hope he doesn't. Let's just go in here as quick as we can. To avoid any dead, dead body stuff. There we go. Okay, so that Future Games show is a um, trailer for new games. Okay, so it's kind of like the... Isn't it like like those e E3 e things? Where they have um, all of the demo... Not, not, not necessarily uh, uh, demos, but they just show off all of the new games. Yes, yes. If you if you hang off the ledge and do a hundred push-ups, it does increase your hang time. You you upgrade upgrade your level. That's actually what I did in the next to last part of this. I didn't I didn't intentionally do it. It just kind of happened. The easier way to do it instead of doing a hundred push-ups, which just takes forever. Actually, wait a second. No, I think that that was correct. Um, instead of doing a hundred push-ups, oh uh, well, pull-ups actually. You you do um, drop down, so you drop down to another ledge and you catch onto it, and that counts as ten. That actually makes it a lot better and a lot easier. You do that ten times, and there you go. You get a level up, Colonel. We don't need your shenanigans, okay? 
There's that guy right over there. I wonder if I can... Yeah, not shoot down. Hang on a minute. I kind of want to, like, shoot down to see if I can shoot down at him. Send back up. I, have I mean, you can see him. I can't- I can't actually shoot down here. This- this- this is funny. It would be funny if I could actually shoot down there. Yeah, like, as, as soon as he goes to try, like, his gun goes away. Anyway, I will wait for that alert to, to go away. Yep, nothing- nothing down here. There is a camera down here, though. Well, I, I screwed that up. I, I, I meant to go down. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I want to see if there's like any guards that like, come like right, right below me and see me. I want to put my gun away so I don't do it. Look, you can see, like, see like the bullet too. It is very deep. Oh, there, there they are. Look at them. Look at these fools. Dude, look up. I'm literally like right above you. That's right, that's right. You go away, you cowards. Oh gosh. A bunch of cowards. Okay. So. We have a chaff grenade. That might be the best way to get by here. Because if I shoot, they're going to be detected. So, yeah, I think I, I may throw a chaff grenade. There was your chaff grenade. I don't think that's going to do anything with them, the guards. Let's just throw another one because we can throw infinite supply of them. There we go. Over here. Thermal goggles. Throw another one for a good good measure. Now I wonder if I throw a stun grenade down here. Well that stun him. Who's there? I wasn't expecting an explo explosion like that, but okay. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Oh, he's gonna be coming up here now, isn't he? Hang on a minute. Hold up. Okay, no, he's not. Okay, great. All right, let's just go down normally. Is there there? Yes, there is someone here. Wish you guys would stop hearing this. Okay, he here they both come. I'm just gonna shoot them. I don't care anymore. I went over right in, right in uh, uh, s single file here. Encounter the enemy. Requesting backup. There we go. Right, they're just gonna keep coming now. You still have to re reload though. <laughs> this, is, this is just so look. One comes, I shoot. The next one comes, I shoot. We have to find a different place. Alright, let's not mess with this guy. Okay. Let's just hide it out over, over, over here until this calms down. <laughs> yeah, there's, there is no suppressor yet until a bit later. Oh no, the camera spotted me! He knows that I'm, that I'm here.
Alright, you know what, dude? I'm gonna use a sun grenade. I wanna stun him. <laughs> Sometimes you 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 just you just mess up really really bad and you had to pay for your mistakes. Isn't that right, Snake? You must pay. You must pay and you must die now. No rations for a you. There we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe he won't have to pay a after all. Maybe he can just lay down, regenerate some health, and then just, just go his normal way. <laughs> there we go. Snake, you made it down. That amazing. Not only did you make it down, Enemy in the area. Security level. but you're actually about to make it to where you need to, and you and you did it in such a bad way. <laughs> oh, that was that was just terrible. That was terrible. It was funny, but it was terrible. That's right. The Darpa Chief is right in there. It normally shows you the DARPA chief. <laughs> it normally shows you the DARPA chief, but it didn't. There we go. Snake, you are oh, you like that? Okay, let me actually heal up a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. So I don't remember if there's anything down here. I guess I guess we can go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, I think that might might be the only thing. It looks like it's the only thing, so I'm not going to bother going all the way down there. Yes, yes, we know. We, we can climb the ladder like like a good old snake. I didn't know snakes could climb ladders, but apparently they, uh, they, they, they can. Okay, I believe... Can we get the M9 here? Right, this is this is where Meryl undresses, I believe. Maybe the M9 is not in 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 hard mode. It, that's a possibility. I don't really know because this is another spot for the M9, but it's not there. So it could be that the M9 is not in the game when you play on hard and above. There's a glitch where you see for a certain wall and get get to him immediately. Oh, really? That's interesting. That may be worth looking into. Maybe it's for, is it is it for the Twin Snakes version or the original PlayStation version? Oh wait, that wasn't where Meryl was. That was where that uh, Johnny was who 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 pees pees in the in the urinal. Says, "Oh, I I I, I hate Alaska." That was Meryl. What we just saw there. Meryl. I wonder what she would do if if we shot. Did you not hear that, Meryl? Like literally, like right above you, there was a gunshot. Did did you really not? What if I just like? Yeah, he he can't actually like shoot down there. Very funny. Just kind of shoot her. Okay, so that glitch to uh, get to the DARPA chief is the, in is in the original. Okay, I gotcha. We skip past all of this. Very cutscene heavy here. Yeah, Naomi, what happened? We don't even know what happened. Actually, yes, yes, we do. He he died. DARPA chief died. What's going on? What's going on over there, Meryl? You're undressing that guard, and his dead body's just. Meryl, let us out, please. Oh, look, we're actually breaking the glass too. Oh, I just shot right through her. I literally just shot right through her. Let me see if I can see her here. 
He just, he hides so well. Can, can I shoot you, Meryl? Let's see. You aren't there, Meryl. We know you, you, you are not there. <laughs> okay. Now, now it's time to, to uh, fight these guards. Darn it. Snake, why don't, why don't, why don't you just die so your health can uh, go, go back to full? There we go. You started, you started it with such low health. There we go. Okay, perfect. Actually, look, you actually still start with that amount of health. Wasn't that fantastic? I did not know that, but okay. There we go. Wait for more of them to come in. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm the longest cutscene in Metal Gear Solid 4 is 27 minutes. Oh my gosh. It is quite long. Snake, you must get that ration. At all costs. There we go. There we go. Meryl, you're doing an amazing job. You're just lucky that I'm not shooting you. Excuse me, guard. M M Meryl, why why were you not protecting me? Oh, I, I need that ration pronto. Thank you. You know, shoot them before they even come in. Yes. That wasn't too bad. Blood everywhere. Naked Johnny over in the corner. Metal Gear. And there we go. In 20 minutes, we got through a decent amount of this game so far. I think that was like where where the first part ended or so. Disgusting. Disgusting. It even blurs my a gun. You see that? Snake, this is this is filthy. <laughs> that that is disgusting, Snake. Okay, Snake. Wait a second, wait a second. Johnny, at least have something to read. There. Have, have, actually have, have a few things to read. There you go. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> he's just reading some, uh, books. What kind of books are you reading there, Johnny? Ooh! Looks kind of nice. <laughs> oh, I, I just, I just love it. Hey, uh, love it. So we actually have the key card. Yeah, we have a level one key card now. So we now, now we got to go to the armory. Oh gosh, those, those books, the infinite supply of books. That, that we have. This is incredible. Ma ama imagine what fun we could have with it, with these books, such as... Oh, what fun. No guard guards here? Surprise. Alright. Got some C4. All we really need is just one, and then we have an infinite supply of them. Due to our nice bandana. You gotta remember though, the uh, the bandana can prevent you from equipping something like the, um, the rations. Prevent you from equipping the body armor. And other things along those lines. Grenades, good. Infinite supply of those now. 
Silicon bullets? No, we don't need those. I wonder where the M9 is on hard, hard difficulty. I honestly have no clue. Anyway, this is where we have to start bombing in order to get the, uh, to, um, Ocelot. There we go. Ooh, the Fomus is gonna be a lot of fun. There it is! I was wondering where our good old friend the M9 is. That is where it is, okay. Back up, back up, Snake. There you go. Darn it, Snake. Back up just a little bit more. Okay, let's actually try our gun and shoot it. Really? That doesn't affect it at all? I'm surprised. I thought that I would have affected it somehow. Oh well. Guess it doesn't. I wonder if we can use grenades to open this. I guess it's worth a shot. That, that, let's see. I don't think that dropped close enough. No, I think we have to use C4. There we go. Gosh, look at that snake. You were maxed out on pretty much everything at this point. Well, except for the C4. You don't you don't have too much C4 yet. Okay, now let's get to Ocelot, our first first like actual boss here. I always press the wrong button to actually put this down. Maybe I should try to put Ocelot to sleep. That may be an interesting strategy. I don't know if I want to do that, but... <laughs> I did it again, did it again. That time I did it, okay, great. So... What controller do I use? I have an Xbox 360 controller. There's Kenneth Baker right there. I see... No, I th Oh, I kind of do see Ocelot in the back. Wait, I am- I am curious. What happens if- if we kill him? Let's go ahead and- and save first. Snake, you can't use your radar. I know. May- Mei Ling, thank you. Let's go ahead and just save over. Same file. There we go. That's what I usually what I do. Be careful, Snake. So I'm really curious. What happens if we kill him? <laughs> you stupid fool! Was that Ocelot saying that? I think it was Ocelot saying that. You stupid fool! I played Metal Gear Solid 3. Yes, I, I've played Metal Gear Solid. Twin Snakes 2, 3, Peace Walker. Oh gosh, I gotta do with this, this crap again. You stupid fool. How dare you call me a stupid fool, Ocelot? It is not I that is that is the fool around here. If I had a sniper. If I had a sniper, I wonder if I can get Ocelot. Like, you can see... Oh, never mind. You can see the very tip-top of his head. Mr. Baker, we, we shall save you, and then you will die right afterwards. Okay, I kind of want to try Ocelot with making him fall asleep. But honestly, I think that's, like, a really bad, bad idea. Hiding won't help you. The gun's power isn't in its muzzle velocity, or its caliber. I love to reload. You, I love to reload. 
Say it again, Ocelot. I actually love when you, when you say that. I love to reload. Yeah, he does a lot of damage, so maybe that's not the best thing. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Snake! At least if we uh, shoot, I think we can do more, more damage to him. Okay. And I think we can do... Hiding won't help you. How do we do it? Power isn't in its muzzle velocity. Or its caliber. There's a way I think we can run and shoot. I don't know what, what a controls it is though. Is it? That's it, okay. I'd love to reload. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? That was that was actually good. That was, <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. How 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 did that happen? Ocelot? You mind saying? There we go. This is this is a nice way to do it. He won't, like, pistol whip you or anything. Which he should. One more hit and he'll be asleep. There we go. Ah! I don't know if we get anything for that. We should get his dog tag, but no, he doesn't do that. All right, Mr. Mr. Baker, you're, you're now going to die. Spent nuclear fuel and plutonium. Nuclear fuel and plutonium. You mean metal. metal Gear? What we're after to destroy bribes. bribes, bribes and brides. Yes. Fantastic. Anything else here for us? Playing it on the hardest difficulty may actually be a bit too hard for me if they don't give you enough rations. How many rations do I have? I got three. Last well, right, you only hold four in hard difficulty. The higher up you are, you know? Bye, dude. I was about to say, I bet that went right next to us. D it didn't it? Okay. Okay, so this is where the guys are going to be now. And I'm going to put down some books. There you go, sir. Hmm? Is somebody there? there is someone here. There's also a bunch of books, too. Ooh, yes, look at that. I know how much you love the books. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you, you love those books. Did, did you... Did you really just not see me there, sir? <laughs> he kicked me down the hole. He kicked me down in the hole. Okay, that was that was fun. He got up. He got he got up because he heard the trap door open, but he didn't even see me, and I was right next to him. Like, dude, for real? Yes. Wiggle it out, buddy. Wiggle it out. Yes. Don't kill me. Hostile, hostile sighted. 
I did not mean mean to do that, but I did it anyway. Go ahead and hide in here until the alert passes. Wait, they already know that I'm in here, right? You look, he's, he's breaking it. He's breaking it down. All right, fine. I'll just put, 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 put you darn fools to sleep. Nah. Come on over. Ah, uh, he's, he's... There we go. See, sometimes it's just fun to me mess around, but then I end up losing up, using up all my, all my life. Uh... I saw a guy over there, did you see that? It was highly suspicious. Titan security, huh? Hmm. There you go. One for each of you. Hmm. They won't ever spot me here, right? They don't know that I'm here, especially when when they're asleep. Return to your positions. I didn't think so. I didn't think you fools would know. Well, time to gun them all down with our farmers. Are they gonna spot me? That's <laughs> oh look, you can even hide behind here too, honestly. You can hide pretty darn far. Uh, I'm just messing around, I'm just messing around. Oh, what great fun to just mess around sometimes. It's no one. There we go. They're all asleep now. Which means... Best thing to do when they're asleep... Dude! Go back to sleep! How dare you! Snake, you, you're gonna die again. Hey, what level key card? We have level level two, so we, I don't think we can do much of anything else here. Where are those guys? I don't know where, where they are. <laughs> oh gosh. There you go, Snake. Stop bleeding. Get your health up. Stop living on the edge. All because that darn guy just fell asleep. Huh? Right. Who's there? You, n n uh, no one. You saw no one. Okay, there's nothing else we can do here. That's right, all of your friends are dead. Okay, so, what we have to do now, I remember, we have to call, isn't it ever you have to call Meryl now? I believe that's what we have to do. That's right, what is, what is Meryl's number? What is Meryl's number? 140.15. You found me, Meryl. 
Yes. Meryl, we're just gonna skip past all your dialogue, as we've heard it all before. Look how much she has to say, too. It's, it's insane. There we go. So she's gonna un unlock this door for us. In the meantime, we can try to get a silencer. We... We should be able to get a silencer in one of these rooms. Oh, you... You craphead. You don't have anything. I've got him. Set. There we go. <laughs> you love how they just go blah. Yeah, blog. Yeah, how, however, which way that they go. Nothing here. Oh, okay, they're up above us. Encounter the enemy requesting backup. Wait, wait for it. There we go. There we go. You don't need to worry, worry about these fools for a while. I love how I just have infinite ammo and everything, and I'm just like fooling around as much as I can. So Robin from Teen Titans voice actor is Scott Menville, is that soldier. Interesting, really. Sir? I heard some really bad things about you just now, about the type of voice actor that, that you have, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to live anymore. That's right, that's right. Sorry, that's just what happens. <laughs> that's just how it be. What was that sound? You heard nothing. What was that sound? It was absolutely nothing, man. Who's that? It's the enemy. Darn it. There we go. I better heal before I die. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Ah. Such terrible gameplay when you're not sneaking. Is there only- look, look, look at this, this is interesting. There's only one tank in here. Because the other tank, if you remember, is where Vulcan Raven is. Out in that snowfield. Meryl, we are still waiting for you. You have to hurry it up and open this door, please. Okay, I think we got that camera. No, we didn't. We gotta get, get rid of this camera. Wait for it. There it goes. Well, in the meantime, Meryl, we will just continue to still wait for you as you take your... the slowest time possible to unlock this door for us. Level 5, I believe it is. Remember Raven in Metal Gear Solid 2 is as that little doll? Yes, I kind of do remember that. Is there somebody there? Yes, there is, and you're about to be falling asleep. Finally, Meryl. Finally, thank you. I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thank you, Meryl. We appreciate that. It only t took you a while. We had to fight off all these enemies, even though all we had to do was just kind of hide. But we wanted to make it fun. Nothing is going on. Hey, we gotta get rid of all these. Be careful that no, uh... Enemies are coming behind us. He's just sleeping on duty. Don't wor worry about him. There we go. Alright, now it's time to fight Raven. First ever tank fight is a soldier that pops up and goes, see how you like this? Yeah, pretty much.
We didn't pick up the mi the uh, mine detector. When we don't pick up the mine detector, it makes us harder. It makes it harder for us to find the mines. Where was the mine detector? I don't remember. I'm just kind of rushing through it. I, I don't even know. Although you could hardly call it rushing with how slow I am with all the battles we're getting into. There you go, Snake. I think there's one here, too. There you go. Okay. Time to fight Raven now. Or maybe you haven't gotten the mind detector yet. It's possible. Should we put Raven to sleep too? Well, more like his a gunner. Can we see from this far away? We kind of can't. It would be funny if, if we could shoot from this far away. I just can't see anything from that far away. That's right, one of the best things to do is just put him down a bunch of claymores so when the tank runs over it, it moves slower. That's right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over, Raven. This was like the worst boss fight. Oh, he, he destroyed the Claymore, didn't he? I hear him laughing. You can kind of shoot him from this distance, but it doesn't do anything. Because you got to go up close. To get to, to get the soldier when he comes out. Okay, so we just gotta make a run for it. This is probably just one of the worst fights. I, I do not care for this fight. Let's see. It just it just seems excessively hard. Did you just go go to sleep? No. Do not attack us, Raven. Thank you. What if I can get him from here? I think I might have. He's kind of like falling asleep. Like he goes back in and like falls asleep. I don't know what's going on. I hear a bunch of weird sounds. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna come out in in anymore. Yeah, I need to get a little closer. Yeah, this, this, this boss fight just, ugh. Okay, what we need to do is get this tank down. There we go. I don't know how much more I can survive of this. I think if I shoot the Fomus, it's not going to do much, though. Yeah, it, it still does the same amount of damage regardless. Like, he, he comes in, he goes out, he goes back in. Try to m mobilize this thing a little more. There we go. Gonna move a little slower.
Nice. Can't shoot me at that close range. No, Snake, that, that was your last healing item. Darn it. This was the boss that I had the hardest time the first time, and it's, it's definitely going to give me the hardest time this this time. I didn't have any other really major issue except for this this darn boss. I think this was, this was, was this the only time that I actually died? Like, on, on a boss? It was this darn boss. I do want to put, put them to sleep, though. Okay, so that's to use our stuff sparingly. Let's try to immobilize it again. Wait for it. See, I don't like that. That, that that's just like un unavoidable there. <laughs> Get back in there. Just keep going, just keep going. No! The tank is pretty much covered around in claymores now. There we go. So if it tries to move, it's not going to be able to do too much. There we go. So it should be like almost like completely immobile now. Yeah, it can barely move. There we go. That's how we do it. Good old cheater's way. Excuse me, tank, would you please stop moving? You're moving ever so slowly and I do, I do not like it. No snake, move! Darn it. You mustn't do, do that, snake. There we go. Okay, so wait for him to come back up. Ideally, you need to get a headshot. I don't like when he points that at me. No, snake! Get that darn cannon out of my face. Darn it, snake! We have no more rations left. There we go. Any more rations around here? I don't think so. Let's just not even mess with first person because I can do it in third person. Snake! See, that, that time he's not auto-targeting. Tar Sometimes he will auto-lock on. There we go. Back out. Okay, the first one's down. See how you like this. You're the same old, same old. You're no different. Ugh. Right, just go uh, back in and go to sleep. You got this, Snake. I don't like that it's getting away, though. Snake! This is atrocious.
Just be careful, Snake. You have hardly any health left and you have no way to heal yourself. And you keep losing health, too. Wait for it. He'll be shooting me, Raven. He's gonna shoot me because he's so far away. Gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm like scared here. One hit and I'm dead. There we go. Okay, Snake, please regenerate some of your health. There you go. You can survive maybe a little bit longer. We can just sur survive past this darn guy. That's all that's needed. Come on out. Put you to sleep as well. His health is going down again. Like, like his health goes, goes up, it goes down. He would not come out if I'm in per first person. I see that, I see that. Even the, the barrel is shivering, it's cold, yeah. I see that. Hey Snake, you definitely need need to heal here. There we go, you have healed enough. No snake! There we go. Okay, good. A little bit more. He's back out. He comes back out for a little bit and then he goes back in. Okay, he, he he's getting down. He's, he's getting down in health. I'm just gonna keep circling this darn thing. No! How dare you! Come on, Snake, you gotta heal. The gunner is so close to being down. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's nice! You dancing? One more hit. One more hit. Come on out. There we go. That was quite rough, I must say. Ah, uh, now we're in the nuke building. We can replenish our supply of rations here. Thank you. He hears it. Yeah, what was that sound? But there's no way he can come in to actually see it. Because obviously his, his ability to sneak around is limited. We can't use any weapons here, so using our bandana is going to be useless. That's right, call Natasha up, which we're not going to call her at all in this... in this place. Screw Natasha. There we go. Go around that, go around that. I just gotta get past this this guy here. Is he just gonna stand there? He's gonna just stand there. I can sneak around him. See if that's what he does. He's sleeping. I don't know what what he's doing, but I'm just gonna go around him. Bye, buddy. Yeah, he didn't sense the thing. 
think we have to go down to B B2 first. Ah, uh, what do you know? It is our good old friend Otacon. Well, Otacon, we appreciate you and all the hard work that that you do. But uh we're not going to worry about you right now. No, we're not. That's right, Deep Throat, the ninja. The ninja was telling us all about how to navigate through that area, which we, we, we got to go get the awesome remote controlled missile. This is, no, this is definitely not a speed run. <laughs> this is, this is far from a speed run, no. This is just this, just the second playthrough to get the the uh, second ending. So I'm skipping all the cutscenes. There you go. Yeah, we already saw them all the first time. There you go. Take your pick, whatever which one it is. Take your pick. Oh, there's another book right in here. There you go. Which which one did you did you choose, sir? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? I can't put any more. I've put the max amount allowed. He like got up within like a second. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see. All of them? Oh, you. It's the enemy. Crap, okay. <sighs> Gotta deal with all these fools again. This is why we don't have any rations. There we go. That's why we don't have any any darn rations. <laughs> some some of them change based on the ending you get. Let's say certain kind of scenes that you, you love so much. Yeah. Ideally, if you would like to see the, the full playthrough that I have done, it's on my YouTube channel. I got all the videos there, or, or my website, you can check it out there, asphodelgaming.com. You can see them all there. But yeah, this is just going to be not a speedrun, but just... How, much, how far can we, how, how fast can we get... To to the ending by also having fun and messing around and literally taking as much time as we possibly can <laughs> just to get to the end for the second ending. And but there is one crucial change we would make, but we won't see that in this in this part. No. Uh, I'm sorry, but both teams are actually asleep. I know you may not want to hear that, sir. I wonder if we can ever see the guy who uh, gives those c commands. I don't know if we ever can. All right, there you go. Okay, so now it's time to use our amazing... There you go. Get through him, get through him. There we go. There we go. Ah. That's right, Snake, that's right. Reclaim your oxygen and then let's head in. All right. No reason for that whatsoever. Oh, good. I'm so glad I'm collecting some of these rations. 
Definitely need them. Ah, yes, another, another book. Gas mask, yes. Put this gas mask on. We have enough ammo in this weapon, so we can just use it. It's fine. Let's replenish the oxygen. Ah, yes. Snake, do not get distracted. Snake? No, snake. Please. He couldn't see- he said he couldn't see to see too well through the gas mask. Which he honestly can. It's so hard to see. There we go. No, no. There we go. And there's one here. Where is it? Is that it right there? Yes, it is. There's another one right up. Perfect. Make you run out of O2. Snake, hurry up and get back. You mustn't lose any any health. We're losing health, Snake. There we go. I wish I could just crouch and just regain all my health. That would actually make it easier, but oh well. We are playing on hard after all. It has to be as hard as possible. There we go. And look, we're actually full on rations. So we gotta remember, there is a ration there. For when we need it. Alright, well, I guess the final thing to do... ...to go after the ninja, but... ...maybe we would tackle that next time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save where the... I'm gonna fight the ninja. Our good old friend Gray Fox. Such an amazing cutscene that plays there. Yeah, this, this is probably a, a good place to save right here. Uh... Snake, he won't go, he won't crouch down over, over these dead, dead bodies. No, he won't. Take a look at him, Snake. Disgusting. Look at that. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to save here. So that is going to do it for this part of Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Next time we will proceed through there, fight the ninja, continue with the speed run, and I'm pretty sure next time we're going to get to the part where it's going to be a game-changing, ending-changing rather, event that's going to happen. Let's call it Mei Ling one last time. I know, I know Mei Ling, thank you. Save it on hard difficulty. Any words of wisdom? Be careful, Snake. That's not any words of wisdom, but thank you, Mailing. We appreciate that. Anyway, have a great day, and I will see you later.